Hi friends, today I am making a syrupy dessert called Rasgulla. It has its origin from uh, west of India, from where my wife come from. But it is very popular in uh, south of Asia. It is one of my favorite dessert. I thought uh, it to be very difficult, but you will get to see as I make that it is very simple and you can make this at home with ease. In terms of ingredient also you don't require anything elaborate. All you need is milk, lemon, water, sugar, a pinch of cardamom powder and then you also require muslin cloth which you will get to see why. Without uh, wasting much time, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and press the like button as well as subscription button as I keep bringing videos related to Canada immigration the way you want to understand and I also bring such do-it-yourself videos to encourage you and to tell you that nothing is difficult, nothing is impossible. I hope you have subscribed. Let's straight away get into making of this rasgulla. So you see here this milk I got from Walmart. It's a 3% fat. So in Walmart you get milk unlike India, you get in uh, bulk. So it comes in a pack of three. So what I do is I get this uh, pack and just put that in the refrigerator. So that's the reason you see this, you know, icy milk. Now let me go ahead and boil this. You see here, it started to boil just like, you know, the milk boiling, what you generally do. And once it reaches the boiling temperature, what I'm doing is uh, I have squeezed in uh, half a lemon and I put this into this uh, boiling milk so that the milk curdles. So I will keep stirring and uh, I'll keep stirring for some time. And you now see that the milk, the milk component and the water is getting separated. And then now I transfer this into this colander where I have kept this muslin cloth. So this muslin cloth will hold on to this uh, curdled milk and you know uh, this is what is cottage cheese. It's very simple. This cottage cheese making is very simple. You saw no effort. Now I run this uh, cottage cheese under uh, cold water so that um, the uh, you know water cools down this and um, then thereafter I remove the excess water and this is how I get the cottage cheese. You see here it's fresh and beautiful. Now what I'm doing is I will go ahead and I will start kneading this cottage cheese. Now one thing we will have to remember here is that uh, this cottage cheese must not have too much of moisture and it should not become very hard. Uh, that's where the right consistency comes and we get this soft rasgulla. So I keep kneading and kneading and kneading and kneading. So I do this for about um, five to seven minutes. Okay. And uh, now you see this is very soft and uh, it's in a right consistency. And now I start making this uh, round cottage cheese. Okay. And you see I've been able to make 12 of them. And you see it's it looks very small but uh, once um, it goes into the preparation it will increase in size by at least double. So the next process is I have water in this container and I add uh, sugar and let it boil. So let the water boil for some time and when it is ready when the sugar is completely integrated with water I start dumping this ball. So the ball goes in and uh, I just allow it for some time okay for about 15 minutes this uh, sugary um, water starts to make this um, cottage cheese increase in its size. So let me open. Uh, now you see the cottage cheese has increased in size and um, let me add some cardamom to this. The cardamom goes in and I will just allow it to sit for a while and the rasgullas are ready. 
you saw this is very simple in fact i thought it to be very very difficult but now that i have made i can tell you that it's very simple and you must also try at home and uh, do let me know with your comments uh, how it has come uh, for you it's very simple it's very easy just uh, maintain the right consistency and uh, enjoy the rasgulla at home thanks guys thanks for watching canada tried and tested